Hello, everybody. This is Tech Hut. I just got back from CES. We saw a whole bunch of cool things. I will be having a few different videos coming out in regards to the event. But the very first thing I want to talk about is, dare I say, a cutesy little device that I happened to stumble across at one of the uh, kind of media day events. And that is this right here. This is the Mecha Comet. It is a Linux device, one of the very few kind of Linux first devices that I happen to find at uh, CES. And this is their website here. I did kind of get a hands on with it and it's pretty cool. This little computer is a handheld device that does have this right here. It's a little uh, 40 GPIO pins that has these custom adapters that you could switch out. Uh, currently, they have one that's just an extender. They have a full keyboard as well as a kind of gamepad controller that you could go ahead and switch out with it. Unfortunately, these little snap-on, snap-off devices are just prototypes, so I wasn't able to actually use those. But the device itself is a touchscreen device and it worked in that regard, so I was still able to kind of tinker with it and actually interact with the system. And this is a Debian-based operating system running a custom desktop environment written in Wayland. The dashboard just has the time, has some uh, kind of notifications and some information about your system, including the uh, CPU utilization, uptime, things like that. We do have access to a internet browser, a full list of all the applications, as well as a terminal. So again, these are their three standard extensions here. You are gonna be able to build your own and they will have open source design files that you can use to help. And if a lot, or if enough people use this, there might be a whole bunch of different things that you could do with it. On this paper here and on the website that I'll link down below, we have the full specifications of the device. It is a ARM device, a quad core ARM Cortex A53 CPU at 1.8 gigahertz per core. It does have, it has four gigabytes of LDDR4 memory, 32 eMMC flash storage with a 100 write 250 read. It does have a uh, GPU in it or an integrated GPU, which it says here, it is capable of encoding and decoding 1080p 60 video, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0. The display is a 3.4 inch LED at 480 by 480. 200 pixels per inch and yeah so that's really it i didn't get too much time with the device i don't have one to kind of screw around with and play with so i will be linking to this page down below so you can check it out for yourself they are going to be on kickstarter but it hasn't even launched on Kickstarter yet. It is a Indian company and all the people there seem really, really cool. So I do I do hope this comes to fruition. It, it seems like something that uh, you could have a lot of use cases for. This is some of the use cases that they kind of show right here. And you could go through, see all the specs, see some screenshots of the actual operating system if you'd like to, powered by Linux. So yeah, all this information will be here. Here's the full kind of a uh, teardown of the device. We so could see the full board right here with this screen, all the different parts, removable battery, 3D printable housing, and they will have the 3D printable files, which is also really cool. Here's the uh, kind of timeline of what's going on. And if you wanna see more, uh, check out the link again down below. With all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and good bye.